Welcome to a chapter a day. Today is a new day, new blessings, and greater favor. So today we are reading Genesis chapter 10. Now this is the genealogy of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and sons were born to them after the flood. The sons of Japheth were Goma, Magog, Madai, Javan, Tubal, Meshech, and Tyrus. The sons of Gomer were Ashkenaz, Riphath, Togamar. The sons of Javan were Elisha, Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodanim. From these the coastland peoples of the Gentiles were separated into their lands, everyone according to his language, according to their families, into their nations. The sons of Ham were Cush, Mizraim, Put, and Canaan. The sons of Cush were Seba, Havilah, Sabta, Rema, Sabteca, and the sons of Rema were Sheba and Dedan. Cush begot Nimrod. He began to be a mighty one on the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Therefore, it is said, like Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord. And the beginning of his kingdom was Babel, Eric, Akkad, and Kalne, in the land of Shinar. From that land, he went to Assyria and built Nineveh. Rehoboth, Ur, Kela, and Resen, between Nineveh and Kela, that is the principal city. Mizraim begot Ludim, Anamim, Lehabim, Naphtuhim, Pathrosim, and Kasluhim, from whom came the Philistines and Kaphtarim. Canaan begot Sidon, his firstborn, and Heth the Jebusites, the Amorite, and the Girgashites, the Hivite, the Archite, and the Sinites, the Arvadite, the Zemarite, and the Hemathite. Afterward, the families of the Can Canaanites were dispersed, and the border of the Canaanites was from Sidon, as you go toward Gera, as far as Gaza. Then as you go toward Sodom, Gomorrah, Adma, and Zeboim as far as Lasha. These were the sons of Ham according to their families, according to their languages, in their lands, and in their nations. And the children were born also to Shem, the father of all the children of Eber, the brother of Japheth, the elder. The sons of Shem were Elam, Asher, Arphaxad, Lud, and Aram. The sons of Aram were Uz, Hul, Githa, and Mash. Arphaxad begat Salah, Salah begat Eber. To Eber were born two sons. The name of one was Peleg, for in his days the earth was divided, and his brother's name was Joktan. Joktan begat Almadad, Sheleth, Hazar Mavet, Jira, Hadoram, Uzal, Dikla, Obal, Abimael, Sheba, Ophir, Havilah, and Jobab. All these were the sons of Joktan, and their dwelling place was from Misha as you go toward Sepha, the mountain of the east. These were the sons of Shem according to their families, according to their languages, in their lands according to their nations. These were the families of the son of Noah, the sons of Noah, according to their generations, in their nations, and from these the nations were divided on the earth after the flood. Here endeth the reading of God's holy word. So in summarizing chapter 10, we can say that this was basically a chapter that focused on the genealogy of Noah's sons. Um, chapter 10 is also known as the Table of the Nations, which basically describe Noah's three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. 
Japheth settled mostly in the north of what would be Israel, Ham became great nations in the Middle East, including the people who settled in the Promised Land. And Shem led Abraham and was led to Abraham and the Israelites. Um, the chapter also described the nations that came from these descendants and the regions where they settled after uh, the Tower of Babel. Many of the men mentioned in the chapter were the founders of significant cities and patriarchs of nation, ancient nations. So we have come to the end of chapter 10. Thank you guys for watching again and I'll see you tomorrow with Genesis chapter 11.